This is To Help You Heal, and I'm your host, Marie Monville. We are going to spend 10 minutes talking about healing. What kind of healing do you need? Is it in your mindset? Is it emotional healing? Is it spiritual healing? You know, there's a lot of healing that we all need, and this is where you're going to find it every week, 10 minutes on Tuesday. I'm so glad you're spending this time with me. Welcome back to this week's episode of To Help You Heal. Last week, we talked about my fun announcement that I wrote and created a journal for couples called Rooted. It leads you through 52 prompts, one for each week throughout the whole year, where you will identify things that you appreciate about your partner and why. So you can do this if you're you know, dating, if you're newly married, if you've been married for decades. It applies to all of us. It doesn't matter what stage we are in the relationship. We're going to be able to use these questions to change the way that we see our partner because let's face it, it's generally easier for us to identify the negatives instead of the positives. And you know, we're going to talk about that today. The reason behind why we do that and how to change it. And this episode isn't just for those of us who have a significant other. If you are single and you're thinking, ah, this isn't going to be for me, hang in here. Because, you know, when we think about how we build relationships with other people, the truth is we don't generally encourage them enough. We don't remember to tell people the good that they do for us and the meaningful things that are a part of our relationship and what we really appreciate about them. You know, it's kind of all the things that people think of and share after someone dies. But what if we said all those things all along the way in the day to day? What if we looked for an opportunity to give some piece of encouragement to the people in our closest circle once a day? wouldn't that be life-changing? I mean, can you imagine how it would feel for you if the people in your household gave you one piece of encouragement every day? That would be huge. And so this journal, Rooted, it's going to lead you through one question every week that's going to help you think about things that you appreciate about your partner and why. Because as valuable as it is to know those things, I think it's even more valuable to know why. And not just for our partner to know why, but for us to know why. It tells us things about ourselves. It tells us things about the kind of things we value. It's going to give our partner greater insights into us. And that's huge. I mean, I think in some ways, knowing those things, that can be life-changing. Relationship transformation happens there when we know the why. And as, as easy as it seems to think about that from this vantage point when you're listening to a podcast, you know, on a on a Tuesday morning or whenever it is that you're listening to this. I think the reality is that often life gets in the way. Because those moments where we can choose to either respond with the positive or the negative, they generally happen on the backside of other things. It's not just about the context of our relationships. It's all the other things that are happening in our world the stressful moments, you know, the hard times, all of life impacts the kind of relationships we're building. But what if we could make encouragement this mainstay that we tuned into, that we knew ourselves well enough to know the things that are meaningful, and we stopped in the moment to convey it? That would be life-changing life-changing for the person that's hearing the affirmation, but I think life-changing for us because, you know, most of us have that somewhat negative soundtrack going in our brain and, and we can work on that and we can change that. But one of the best ways we do that is by identifying the positives. I mean, that's why so many people will do gratitude journaling to put those things in front of them in black and white that they're grateful for because it changes the patterns and the pathways in our brain. It's one of the great things about our brain. It can change. It's this whole concept called neuroplasticity. But to me, I kind of think about it like grooves in a road. You know, you get those ruts in in the road that kind of suck the tires of your vehicle in. It's the same way in our brain. We can have these ruts. And a lot of times those ruts are formed by negativity, by, you know, the thoughts that we have about ourselves, about our life, about other people. 
And I think for the people that are closest to us, especially people who live in our household, oftentimes we will more quickly identify the negative. It's not hard for us to think about the things that irritate us or drive us crazy or just those little tiny things like the way they load the dishwasher or the way they fold the laundry, whatever it is, that that maybe isn't quite like the way that we do it. And I think sometimes that comes from our own insecurity you know, it comes from wanting to be right. It comes from wanting to have that identification that we matter, that we're doing a good job. And so what if we got that? And what if we also gave that in this place of encouragement? And so as you're listening to this episode today, I want you to challenge yourself to think about the people in your sphere, the people that are closest to you. And do you give them positive feedback on a regular basis? Now, I imagine that giving out positive feedback on a daily basis is probably not where we all are. I'm not all there all the time either, but I think it's a great goal to aim for. And, you know, I think even the people that seem to be really confident in themselves, they have their own places of insecurity. And so often we can see somebody that we think is really confident, or maybe we think they're overconfident, and they're not really that confident at all. But that would change for them, and they would start to feel so much better about themselves if we identified the good that we see in them, the positive that we know exists. And so as you walk through this journal rooted, that's what you're going to do. But you can do that now. You don't have to wait to get the journal in your hands, and you don't have to just do it for you and your partner. You can start to incorporate this really life-changing aspect of positive feedback right now. And I think it's as simple as thinking about one person or maybe a couple people in your life and thinking, why do they matter to you? What do you appreciate most about them? What do you admire about them? What do you know to be true about them? Probably in those places where you think it's just so evident that they already know it because they they probably aren't thinking it about themselves. And so I want to encourage you that as you're thinking about those people, you know, you're thinking about what you appreciate, I want you to take it a step further. And I want you to ask yourself why. So you have that person, you have that thing that you love about them, the thing you appreciate, the thing you admire, the thing that you think is so true that they probably already know it. And I want you to ask yourself why that matters to you. And then I want you to to walk down that road of figuring it out. And allowing yourself to have the space and time to even write it down or jot a note in your phone, do something so that you're going to remember it. Because as easy as it seems in the moment, you know, we think when we're having these thoughts, ah, I'm going to remember this, I'm going to tell them. The, the reality is that we get distracted and it completely falls out of our brain. So either type them a text and tell them now, write a note in your phone, do a voice memo and save it for later, but make sure you tell them the thing that you appreciate and even more than just telling them that you appreciate that thing. I want you to tell them why. And I, I'm telling you, this is going to be so powerful for them, you know, for them to receive your encouragement it's going to be meaningful. I want you to think about how it would feel if someone did that for you. If they reached out to you and said, hey, here's this thing that I appreciate about you. You know, I pro- I think you probably already know it, but I want to tell you again, this is one of the things that I just love about you. And here's why it matters to me. And, you know, I think oftentimes when we receive a compliment, it's easy for us to dismiss it. But if somebody tells us the why, that's the thing that's going to stick with us. And that's the thing that's much harder to dismiss because we we can't just brush it away. It's something so powerful, so transformational, so meaningful that it sticks. And that's what you're giving them. You're giving them this thing that's going to stick that on their hard days, on the frustrating days, on the days when they're doubting themselves, they're going to have the opportunity to remember your words to settle into the positive feedback that you gave them to the why that you whispered. And they're going to remember that. They're not going to be able to dismiss it. They're going to hold on to that why. And the reason that I know this is because I have held on to the whys. I've held on to the whys that people have given me. And I've seen the impact of giving whys to somebody else. 
So that's my challenge for you this week. I believe in practical application kinds of homework. Whenever I'm working with a client, whether it's one-on-one coaching or with organizations, I believe in giving homework. You know, if we don't have an opportunity to practice it, it's just going to be this great idea that we heard about and that we never instituted. But by doing something that matters to us, by putting it into practice, it can become a part of our life. So take some time when you turn off the podcast, or maybe you've been doing it all the way through, to think about that person, think about what you appreciate about them, and then most importantly, think about the why. Make sure you tell them. I'd love to hear the story of what you shared and the feedback that you got when you shared it, please send me an email, marie at mariemonville.com. You can also share it with me through any of my social media channels, Facebook, Instagram. And if you want more information on that journal, Rooted, you can find that on my website. You will also find the information as far as pre-ordering the journal. They should be shipping by around September 7th. You can pre-order on the website. It is $12 for one copy, $10 each if you buy two or more. And again, you'll find all that you need to know on that at mariemonville.com. Come back next week, chat with me, spend 10 minutes with me, and I hope that it changes your life.